Hi everyone, I'm Marcy and I've had such a sweet tooth today. I decided to go through some old recipes to see if there was some kind of dessert I could make. And I found this recipe for carrot cookies. This is a really old recipe. It was my sister's. She got it when she was in high school in her home ec class and she used to make them all the time and I loved them. So I've hung on to this recipe for all these years. I don't even know if they still have home ec anymore. I hope they do. They always had really easy recipes and this one is really great. So here's what you're going to need. Three fourths of a cup of sugar, one cup of shortening. This is just a block of Crisco, two cups all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one egg, one cup grated carrots, half a teaspoon cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. And that's it. But now I'm gonna be thinking about home ec. I took it too, and uh, I always thought it was so much fun. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you took it and uh, if you know if it's still around because now I'm really curious. But I digress, let's go ahead and get started. In a large bowl, I'm first going to cream together the sugar and the shortening. And I'll be using my electric hand mixer for this. Once creamed, I add in the egg and continue mixing. Now in a separate bowl, I combine the dry ingredients. That's the flour, the baking powder, the pinch of salt, and the cinnamon. I'll quickly mix them together, then start adding it to the creamed mixture a little at a time. When the dry ingredients are all absorbed into the dough, we can then add in the grated carrots. At this point, I switch to mixing it by hand, making sure it gets fully combined. Next, take your cookie dough and by the spoonfuls, start dropping it onto an ungreased cookie sheet. If you want the cookies to come out a little more flat, you can press them down slightly with your fingertips or with the back of a spoon, but I like them to puff up when they bake, so I'm leaving them as is. Then pop them in the oven to bake at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes or until the edges of the cookies are golden brown. This recipe makes two and a half dozen of these cute little puffy carrot cookies. Now they did come out a little more yellow than I remembered, but that's because I use butter flavored Crisco and uh, the recipe just calls for regular shortening. So normally they would have been more uh, white with the 
bright orange flecks in it, making it really pretty, but um, this color isn't gonna bother me one bit. Now, ideally, you want them to cool completely before you eat them, and in fact, if memory serves me correctly, they're even better the next day. But I'm gonna go ahead and bite into one right now. Hmm. They're as good as I remember. You know, I just love homemade cookies. They're always gonna be infinitely better than anything that you would buy at the store. And that is definitely the case with these carrot cookies. I would say if you like shortbread, that's probably the closest thing I would compare these to. They kind of just melt in your mouth and they're perfectly sweet. And of course you've got the bits of carrot in it, which uh, in my book makes them healthy for you. So there you go, you're welcome an excuse to eat cookies. I hope you tried this recipe. It's just a great old fashioned recipe that maybe we need to just circulate again. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I also invite you to follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.